In today's video, we're gonna look at the proper foot placement and discus technique. Throwing in this direction, the way I, I talk about the throw string, this is the front of the circle. And if this is the front of the circle, if we were to divide it in half, that makes up here the back of the circle. And I break it down into the back and the front just so it's easier for reference and to learn. So when you're when you're starting the full throw, you want to actually face the back of the circle. So again, if this is where you're gonna throw, you step into the ring, your left foot goes here, and your right foot goes here. And you're, you're, you're facing the back of the circle. That's your start position. And then if you look here, if this was, if I drew a dotted line down the center of the, center of the circle, you can see that your, your feet straddle the center line. And I, that's important, especially for uh, beginner throwers, if you're um, a coach and you're teaching your kids or, or a parent, or if, if you are a thrower yourself, this is the easiest way to learn to spin around this left foot. So quick thing here, this first turn out of the back of the ring, spinning on this foot, is probably the hardest part of the throw. Um, so we want to set ourselves up to do that the best we can. If this is your right foot and this is your left foot, you need to get your right foot to here. And so the best way to do that is you're going to take this left foot and you're going to spin on that foot 180 degrees so that your right foot can get to here. So this right foot, if, it, if I were to draw a line, it does a gentle arc and your right foot lands here in the center of the circle. And the way that happened is because this foot spun 180 degrees. So you got to spin on the left foot so that the right foot can get away, get around here you actually hop a little bit. I'm gonna use that word lightly. You don't really hop, but you do get some air time. You kind of hop off of this left foot and land your right foot in the middle. When this right foot lands, you want your left foot to be somewhere around here, right? So it's, it's in the air, this foot lands, your left foot's here. So just like in the back of the ring where you had to spin on your left foot to get your right foot around, you have to spin on your right foot to get your left foot to here. So again, this right foot did its arc here. This left foot is gonna do an arc to land here. And this is the left foot will land there. So the right comes around to here. The left foot comes around to the front. And then once your right foot is here and your left foot is here, you're in your final position or your, your power position. And then um, remember how I said that this right foot has to turn in order to get the left foot here? Even once this left foot lands, this right foot continues to turn. So it just keeps turning. And that's and let's just say, for example, when your left is here and your right foot here, your discus is going to be somewhere about right here. If you think about it, if, if your discus is here, your right foot and left foot are on the ground, this foot turns that discus is going to come around and rock it out of your hand and go out into the throwing sector. So that is our proper foot placement in the discus. So remember, when you're starting, left foot here, right foot here, facing the back of the ring. Left foot turns 180 degrees, and you hop, and your right foot lands in the middle. Your right foot turns, your left foot lands here. Your right foot continues to turn, and then that discus flies around and out of your hand. So that is our proper um, foot placement in the throat. So if you'd like to take this a step further and learn the detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the full rotation technique in discus and in shot put, then you need to check out my, my online discus and rotational shot put course. You can find that on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash bowman throws. I will put that link in the description. But it gives you everything you need on the what, the why, and the how of rotational technique. And it'll give you all of the information you need to train right, to train smart, and to do the full spin effectively so you can throw your farthest. Again, that uh, is my course, and you can find that link in the description. And I'm sure, I'm positive, 
that you will you will find value to that.